One of the leading causes of frustration factor on the Mini Classics is the inability to run Killer Instinct properly. But I'm going to show you how to run it much better today. We're going to go with Low Compton Touch Archery Dummy. And I'm going to show you the way the game typically runs. And this is going to run much, much better on the PlayStation Classic when I show you the tutorial on how to run it better. But you'll get a little bit of a boost on, of course, the NES and SNES Classic as well. But uh, we're doing Killer Instinct right now. And we're going to be running with Gloopin. Gloopin is really the only core that should be run with this game. But you're going to see how the game typically runs. And then I'm going to show you how to run it better, better, and faster. It'll be much more properly geared to a two-player mode activate. So we're going to start the game out, and you're going to see the way the game would typically run. It is pretty abysmal, in fact. And the reason why is it is due to the limitations of the hardware in conjunction with a memory leak. But look, this is not at all playable. Killer Instinct. Almost I want to have Jim uh, Carrey doing uh, the uh, rewind time impression from Ace Ventura. But I'm going to show you how to run this much, much better. This is bad. Okay, we're going to exit here. And even if you get the game running okay, it'll usually memory leak out within a minute or two. But I'm going to show you how to get out of it. I'm going to quit RetroArch right now. And this is going to be a pretty complicated update because it is actually going to be, uh, you're going to find a lot of, uh, options here when I show you what I'm doing. And I give personal thanks to Jenner Bent with helping out with the setup of this video driver, but you're going to go into drivers here. And again, this is only for the PlayStation Classic. You're not going to be able to do this the same way on the SNES and NES Classic. Drivers, you're going to go to video, and we haven't set the Geo Core mode, and, uh, Geo Core mode is going to benefit cores like PlayStation uh, rearmed, and it's also going to benefit PPSS, PP Extreme. It's going to make games like that run on those cores better, but uh, for N64, you're going to want to change it to GL. And then you're going to have to exit. And no, you're not going to be able to do any overrides. you got to switch them with no content loaded, then exit RetroArch. We're going to go back into Killer Instinct here. So, just get in the habit of knowing which cores run with which games. I'll try to keep you updated on that with my tutorials, but uh, PPSS, PP Extreme, and PlayStation uh, Rearmed should be run with the GL core. And then you should run N64 with the GL. So we're going to go low content, Star Trek 3, dummy, N64. And uh, you got to bear with me very, very carefully on what I do. When you start the game here, don't push start initially. Just watch what I do. And once you do it the first time, it should save in the memory pack for the second time and on. So don't push start, just leave the game load, the interface here. Hear the incredibly cool music, which is like off of the music CD when it came out in the 90s. You're going to go down to where the options are. And you're going to change the game speed, make sure it's on ultra. And then you can go down, again, make sure game speed is ultra. And you might want to have blood on high. And then when you're done, it'll save everything. Then we're going to start the game here. And bear with me here. We're going to start the game normally here. With Jago. And things uh, seem to start out fine, but watch what happens. We're going to have a memory leak. It's already running quite a bit better here. But watch what happens when I get to the next stage. And this is going to suck really hardcore when you try to do two-player mode activate. But already it's so much more playable. But watch what I have to do when I get to the second stage and on. We'll get there real quick. I'm going to give you a little bit of a memory exploit to clear out the uh, memory so you can uh, actually run the game better. You're going to have to do it once per stage, once you see what I do. And I really got to get some practice in with this. It's been a while since I played this, but it's right up there with Tekken and Soul Calibur and Mortal Kombat for my favorite fighting uh, philosophy game-wise. No, you're going down my, uh, Combo Breaker. That sounds really funny. <laughs> I'm just trying to win the match real quick so I can see the next battle. There we go. Okay, we should be able to see the next battle right now. And this is going to actually be exponentially slower than it is right now. But I'm going to show you the memory exploit once we get there. Again, you're only going to be able to do it in GL mode. Okay? So watch what happens here. Slow motion! 
So what we're gonna actually do to fix this, and you're gonna need to do it once per stage. You're gonna go into uh, Retro Settings, Video, and you're gonna scroll down carefully. Right here where you see Force Disable SRGB, you're gonna toggle it. And then it's gonna flash out, clear the memory, and then you're gonna be able to resume the game and play it at a faster pace. It's worth it when you see the end result. So we're gonna go back and resume. Look at that! Full speed mode activate. Just do this once per stage, whether or not you're one player or two player mode activate. And yes, uh, if you play this on games like Star Fox, and you have any kind of slow down crawl or anything, you can clear the memory out just by doing what I showed you. On the SNES and NES Classic, it used to be a workaround that we devised a while back before we had ZRAM and Memory Booster, but uh, as of right now, this is the best way to do it if you're playing games like Killer Instinct and Paper Mario and other games that do not benefit ZRAM as much. But once per stage, you'll be able to do the entirety of the game, which is awesome. Okay, now we're going to exit out, and we're going to change the driver back to, of course, the Geo Core, and I'm going to show you how... Uh, Things work here real quick. Back into the RetroArch, and we're gonna change out the GL video mode for GL Core. And again, you can only do this on the PlayStation Classic. So again, no content loaded, drivers, video, and uh, we're changing from GL to GL Core. GL is best for Nintendo 64, so we can do the SRGB exploit for games like Killer Instinct, Paper Mario, and so on. And you can do the same exploit on the SNES or NES Classic, just not to the same degree. Okay, we got uh, GeoCord, and we got to exit back out of RetroArch, and then we're going to come back in, and we're going to do the beneficial upgradability of the PPSSPP Extreme, which works so much better with GeoCore than it does with, of course, GL mode. And we're going to do uh, two prime examples of stubborn games. So, low content star directory, dummy. And these are by far two of my favorite games to play on the core to boot. We got Burnout Legends, which is incredible. I love the entire series. We're going to do that one first. And I have to say, uh, oh yes, we're trying to do a work in progress on PlayStation 2, but it is not fully there yet. It may never properly work, but uh, we're trying. But we're doing uh, Burnout Legends. I have to say, out of the Burnout series, my favorite one by far is the Burnout Revenge on, of course, Xbox 360. Just like with Need for Speed. I love Need for Speed Most Wanted. Also on Xbox 360. I mean, they are untouchable as far as my favorite Need for Speed. And, of course, uh, Burnout games that I've ever played. I want to have a revival of Burnout Revenge. Just like the Xbox 360 version, which is untouchable. So here we go. We're going to check this out. And I'm going to show you the typical choke point that you'd run into with this game. Especially on the SNES Classic. It becomes a slideshow on the SNES Classic at some moments. So we'll do one stage real quick. And there's another thing I added uh, last update or two. Uh, PPSS PP Cheats. And I might do a brief demonstration of that as well if I have a couple minutes in this video. But love this game here. And I'll show you where a typical choke point is, right? Once you pass the sign here, it would normally become a slideshow on the SNES Classic. It'll slow down just slightly, but not at all like it would on the SNES Classic. It is actually running pretty awesome right now. Right there, it would freeze to a slideshow on the SNES Classic. But it runs so much better with the GeoCore on the PlayStation Classic. Yet another reason to have the PlayStation Classic, along with the full speed mode activate, Ninja Baseball Batman on Main 2003 Extreme, one of the best Iron games in all of existence. That was a close one, but uh, by doing that little fear thing, we get a few more uh, speed points there. We'll try to at least get first place on the stage. I think I can pull it off. Either first place or a uh, crazy crash. Some incredible music. Never ever get sold. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have no trouble getting first place on this. Oh yeah. And yes, when you get later on in the game, it has some incredible cars. Like, very, very fast cars. This is nothing compared to the later uh, just in the game. I really, really want them to put out Burnout Revenge. Even on PS4, if they can pull it off. 
there's actually, I forgot what the name of it is, but there's another game by the makers of Burnout that is actually on uh, PlayStation 4, and it plays just like it, just without the license. I gotta look that up again, but it actually just came out very, very recently. I'm gonna have to grab that and showcase that in another video. Boy, me, one of you guys and gals might know exactly what I'm talking about. Whoa! That was close. I'm still going to get first place mode activated here. We got this. And I actually love that you can actually use the borders of the stage to help you out like a handicap. You don't crash like in some racing games. Especially if you play a game like Gran Turismo where it slows you down considerably. And the other game that has issues brought in would be uh, Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins, uh, which we definitely want to be able to run well. And again, you're going to be able to use Geocore, especially for... Uh, there we go. <laughs> we're gonna let that be the end of this video. I could have got first place if I didn't crash, but uh, we're gonna go with Star Trek Three Dummy. I'll be coming back to it like I do with all my racing games, because racing games and shmups are my forte. So I'll have to make Ghosts and Goblins. I'll show you the choke point on this game as well, and it runs awesome on Geocore mode. The game actually starts out for a few seconds like it's gonna be fine and dandy, but then on the SNS Classic it shows down considerably, but on here it actually makes it past the choke point quite nicely with, of course, the um, Geocore mode. So here we go, let's check it out for a brief moment. And I remember when video game magazines like uh, GameFan were giving us bad reviews, specifically because people weren't even able to pass the first stage, but like with Metroidvania games, you can actually get power-ups and upgrades which actually help you in beating the game. Okay. So this will be our last demonstration here. And here's the choke point right when you start the stage. Normally it runs fine, but the moment you get to like that skull over here, it would slow down. But it's actually not slowing down at all. It's actually running awesome with Geocore mode activated. So this game actually runs pretty damn awesome. Just like on my PlayStation TV almost. So I'm very, very happy and ecstatic to be able to run both this and Burnout Legends in a nice break. Try this on the SNES Classic for a comparison. It runs so much better here. And I love that you resurrect right here and now. That is awesome. Whereas in the original game and even in the harder difficulties, uh, you would actually die and have to go back a few bits. So I don't know why this game ever got a bad review by any magazines because you can actually uh, replicate right where you're at again. And I like to have my uh, Holman weapon here because it makes the game so much better, just like with my crossbow with uh, Super Ghost and Ghost. We got this, guys and gals. Let me get at least get to the next junction in the stage here. And you actually get some nice upgrades in the uh, stages to make the game easier. You can actually do the stages again and backtrack. Like, you have a double jump, and you can come back and get power-ups that you couldn't typically find the first run through. So again, hope you enjoyed the video, guys and gals. Run Killer Instinct uh, in a much better performance speed for one-player or two-player mode activate. And of course, games like Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins and Burnout uh, Legends in a better frame rate as well. So, have a good day, guys and gals. See you next update.